Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an announcement video. I am Silfin, and we are going to talk about matchmaking. Uh, Epic Games certainly has released a little bit of a blog article on the impact of draft mode on matchmaking, and has talked a little bit of how it's affecting things, and, and more importantly, the future and what that looks like. So here is the blog article. Uh, it looks actually quite like technical, but don't worry, it's 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 easily understandable. So uh, basically, they you know they are they implemented it a while ago, and there's three goals that they wanted with draft mode. They wanted to lower matchmaking times by removing the hero search criteria. They just you know where you click search, and then there's searching and all that business. Simply lowered it just by you know making it. Not like that at all. Uh, you they wanted to increase match quality by enabling social parties to be on the same criteria and also improve team compositions by allowing teams to choose their own comps. Wonderful, wonderful, um, but you know, there's still much to be done as well. Now, a matchmaking times. So, this looks kind of complicated, but basically, um, they have found that there is a decrease in matchmaking times and a drop in extreme matchmaking times. So here in this graph, you can in this graph you can see that uh, this purple line here was before draft was released. So all of this is time. This is the minutes of Q. This is the before the draft was released, and this teal is after the lines um, have have decreased have uh, this wow this teal line is after a draft was released so as you can see it's almost cut uh right in half from before so about four to just over two three so about 25 percent but then when a ps plus was released to the public when they were a allowed uh, early access look at how it dropped even further this is when it was cut almost in half so as you can see draft has definitely reduced the amount of time um, that people have queued and then with that very big increase in the public in the player base uh, from PS plus uh, definitely enabled those queue times to go down very very much uh, something that they also talk about here is uh, the one percent of 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 people that queue uh, have very high matchmaking times. So before they went um, live, they people were waiting. One percent of all queue times was 17 minutes. That's a very long time. But now it's dropped to about 11 minutes. So that is that is um, very that that's good. Like that's 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 a good time. You don't want like that's pr that's pretty really ridiculous, and especially 11 minutes as well. So another thing that they uh, wanted to say was that when a new hero is released, you can take a look at this. Before, because everybody was trying to play that uh, that hero, you could see that um, the wait times were massive as people were constantly, you know, they would select Grim and go search. Well, you can't have a team of five Grims, so you had to, you know, populate all of these different uh, matches that these Grims were forcing to have happen with other players and you just have to wait for players to pick other characters. As you can see afterwards, these, um, like look at Greystone, there's almost, there's there's nothing. There's just a little, little hump here, like almost nothing, almost nothing. They don't say what these are. They honestly don't say what these are. Um, Chimera and Greystone, I think they're, they're the same. There's nobody in, in between them, so I really don't understand what was going on here. So, but I mean, it makes sense if you're the only way for you to play, the only way for you to play um, the, the the game was um, you know by selecting another hero. Alrighty, I tried to get my little man here. He was up, and. Uh, Crying a little too much. So let's continue here. Basically, we said that the 1% of all uh, queue times have been significantly reduced from 17 minutes to 11 minutes. So that is huge. Another thing, the spikes have been uh, reduced from, you know, when heroes are released simply because everybody wants to uh, play them. But in the new draft mode, you can't, right? Only you can only have one character uh, per team. So 
you know, basically first pick gets the new hero. So that is automatically reduced. That is certainly quite nice indeed. Oop, need a full screen map. So match quality has obviously been, Im been improved. Um, I mean, that is really hard to, that is really hard to kind of judge as it is subjective, right? It is pretty subjective, but um, I would say that, yeah, um, you know, it, of course it's going to be going to be improved. They have said that there's a 10% improvement in the highest rating of a team comp. So at the end, when you see your little uh, survey of please rate your um, team composition, there has been a 10% increase in, in when people uh, select number five, you know, like one through five, you get to kind of, um, yeah, rate that. So you can see that there's been a 10% improvement there. The MMR point disparity has been really, has been very interesting. They said that they, it has all been reduced. So basically the average dis, the average di difference in the MMR has been certainly reduced. Yes, it has. And um, especially amongst all of these different kinds. So the average dif difference has been reduced um, uh, to almost 20% there. The 25th percentile, so 25% per, uh, percent of all games uh, have been, the disparity there has been uh, improved, has been reduced by a significant amount, 33%. And uh, even the even the median and the 75th percentile has been changed. So if you uh, aren't familiar with statistics, the percentile and median and stuff like that is going to be, oh, 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 it's going to be a little interesting, but um, there you go. So there is the team composition, as we mentioned before. And uh, basically just, yeah, I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, yes, and the future. The future is very, very exciting. They actually talk about ranked play here and basically what they want to do is make sure that ranked play has an even closer MMR restriction so you are going to be playing with uh, play other players that are much more similar yes much more similar in MMR to you um, along with other features that you know you just need for ranked play like placement matches placement matches to figure out your your MMR and divisions you know to kind of separate the player base and MMR decay when you haven't played in a while. Um, they're also going to be they're likely reseed MMRs at least once more this year. I think they might have meant um, to reset MMRs, but um, we'll have to see what that turns out. And also, one of the uh, biggest matchmaking improvements they're going to make is something called a, a monolith. It's basically just going to be their server that is going to do all of the matchmaking for us. So currently our clients, or each individual game clients, have to find a match, find a kind of a lobby to, to make. But this server will do a much better job of finding a finding and creating a lobby for us. What I hope that they do, they say that the matchmaking algorithm will be responsive to the Q population and make a dynamic MMR restrictions. What I hope happens is that say for some strange reason you have like a lot of a very high MMR and a lot of very low MMR. If the if the server actually puts them together, so two teams of very mixed, very very mixed MMR. I hope that they, I hope that it you know, it changes if you lose. It changes how much your MMR is going to be affected. So if you are in a very consistent MMR match, that your you know your rating goes up and down, you know in a standard amount. But if you happen to be placed in a very high MMR game and you are much lower MMR and you lose, I would hope that you don't lose as much MMR as you otherwise would have. Or if you are a very high MMR and you go into a team with um, you know, a, a game that's very low MMR, when you win, I hope that you don't get as much of an MMR increase as you otherwise, as you otherwise would have. Yes, that would be very, you know, so it doesn't, it makes it even. So you can't, you know, happen to be a very high MMR, go into a low MMR game, and then get, and then get the same MMR increase. That's not fair. So, yes, little man. It is time to be done. So I hope that this uh, helped you a little bit. I 
I, I'm looking really forward to the future of matchmaking. I like that they added the draft mode to make it a very competitive uh, play style and just, uh, you know, because lots of other games don't have matchmaking in lots of their kind of quick match sort of settings. So I like that it's very competitive and I hope that you do as well. Please like the video if you liked it, just like if you disliked it, please share it with the community and of course subscribe. This little man comes on, I think it's the second time. You know, I think he's cute. I don't know. Oh, your cheeks are chubby. My goodness. <laughs> Please subscribe if you liked it or found this useful. Until next time, like always, take care.